Good morning. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be cutting some little cedar tops into 4x4s. We're going to be using these 4x4s later on to build posts for a sign that we're making. Uh, this is going to be the first of a series of making this sign. So stay tuned and enjoy. These little logs are the top end of some cedar trees. They are eight foot, almost nine foot in length. They are very knotty from all the limbs and the tops of the cedars. They are also very tapered. Uh, they're 10, 12 inch on the big end, but they're only six or eight inch on the little end. And they're not particularly straight. I chose these as some of the crappiest that I've got in my cedar pile. So all I'm really wanting to get out of these is uh, a couple of four befores, one out of each of these with the uh, pith in the center. So what we're doing is pretty basic. We're just uh, putting them up on the mill I'm uh, trying to level the heart, uh, cutting four slabs off, of course. We're cutting one, turn 90 degrees, cut another, till we get all the way back around. Uh, of course, if anybody's ever cut any of these eastern red cedars that are limbing, you know how difficult that can be without getting a chainsaw out and trimming all the limbs up nice and smooth. Is every way you turn these, there's a limb sticking out causing issues somewhere or another. I've edited out some of the frustration of turning them and having to work around these little old limbs. Of course, I've kind of passed it now, but if you noticed, I was using the operator end tow board to get it leveled up for the first two cuts. And you just got to remember to be sure and put it down, make the next two cuts pretty basic. Well, you know, once you've cut the first two, you're down to it with this small log. You set it at four inches and cut and turn and set it at four inches and cut. Okay, we've gotten finished with that first one, getting it off the mill. I'm going to get a second one loaded up here real quick, get it leveled up and get started cutting. So these little things don't yield much as far as usable, sellable lumber. You know, the, the, log, the loggers want to uh, sell you as small as you'll buy, uh, you know, and there's there's places out there that will willingly buy down to six inch, uh, which, you know, the, these are in that neighborhood. But boy, you just sure can't make much out of them, and they're, uh, 
they're kind of labor intensive for fat, ugly slabs, you know, load, unload, all that to get uh, such a marginal amount of sellable lumber out of them. We got that first slab knocked off. You can see that I've got the operator end tow board up about two inches to get this thing up level. Uh, we're going to get it turned here real quick and knock slab number two off and then we'll be able to drop that tow board down. Once you get this second slab cut off of these tiny little logs, there's no more calculations to be made. It's simply lay it on the deck and cut it four inches. So all of your calculations for trying to get everything centered and level and everything all comes in those first two cuts. Um, so, you know, once you're down to that third cut, it's pretty basic. You just have to be four inches off of the deck and what it is is what it is because you've already cut as deep as you can afford to go. Ideally, I'd like for these to be 100% hardwood. Uh, and they could have if these had been straight as a string, even with the taper, but you can see here, this one's gonna have a fair amount of sapwood showing. Now these are gonna be planed and finished, so we're cutting them a full four inches, but we're gonna be into them probably a quarter inch deeper by the time we get them dressed up. So there will be a little more heartwood exposed and a little less sapwood. Hey, if you like this kind of video, woodworking, outdoors kind of things, uh, please like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure you like a video. It is very important to get the likes, which is the thumbs up. Uh, depending on what kind of device you're looking at it on. Uh, you can even do that on a TV. Uh, hit the thumbs up. The thumbs up, the likes, tells YouTube to show the video to more people, which in turn lets me know that people are interested in this kind of content. Um, I, I really had reservations about whether I'd put out any more videos because some of them really just didn't get that much traction out there. Um, but it all has to do with how many likes and subscribes and comments and that sort of thing. But it's, it's really easy to hit the like. You don't necessarily have to make a comment. I appreciate everybody watching. Please keep looking out for the rest of this building uh, sign series. Thank you.